Okay, let us continue where we stopped in the last lecture. So, we have defined the principal vectors and the principal curvature. So, remember k 1 and k 2, these were the yes roots k 1 and k 2, they are called the principal curvatures of the this matrix, uh, the roots of this matrix k 1 and k 2 and this is basically the eigen values of Wingarten matrix, that is what we have derived and with that we derived that we have defined principal vector. So, what we do with these quantities, that is what I want to I want to do some more on one, one proposition today and then you will see the geometric interpretation of this all these quantities. So, let me write proposition first. So, let k 1 and k 2 be principal curvature at p of the surface regular surface patch sigma with t 1 and t 2 principal vectors. Then first what are they k 1 k 2 principal curvature means the root of the matrix f 1 inverse uh, f 2 that is a true cost to matrix, but no, no, nobody guarantees me that k 1 and k 2 will be real. So, first part of the proposition is that that k 1 and k 2 are real, it can be complex right. And second, if k 1 and k 2 are same, that is there is only k 1 and k 2 is same, then f 2 equal to k f 1 and hence every tangent vector is principal because if f 1 minus k f 2 is 0. And third, what happens if they are not equal, then T 1 is actually perpendicular to T 2 and in this case, in this case, in third case, this called this P is called umbilic. When we will come to the geometry part, we will see what is this umbilic word means. Okay. So, I want to prove this proposition today. Once again, this is the proposition. So, let us start, start with the first part. Proof is little, it is just some calculations, okay. just follow the calculation. I go, am going slow. So, first part k 1 and k 2 real. Okay. So, I have Let us take any two perpendicular unit tangent vector at this is tangent space is two dimensional, so I will have two perpendicular vector spanning that. Let us take x i equal to xi i eta i i equal to 1 and 2. So, let us form this matrix A xi 1 eta 1 xi 2 eta 2. Then you observe A transpose f 1 a, let us write what it is, this will be x 1 transpose f 1 x 1, x 1 transpose f 1 x 2, 
x 2 transpose f 1 t 1 and x 2 transpose f 1 x 2. Simple calculation. Okay. Very good. But let us go, go back. What is this quantity? We had an exercise. If I have two tangent vectors x and y, any two, then t1 dot t2. t So, it will be t1 dot t1. So, you use that exercise, you will get this is x1 transpose dot x1, x1, x1 dot x2, x1 dot x1, x1 dot x2, x2 dot x1, x2 dot x2. Okay. What is it? x1 is a unit vector. So, x1 dot x1 is 1 x 1 and x 2 are perpendicular unit vector. So, this is 0. So, this is 0, this is 1. So, this is identity matrix. Okay. Now, let us take d equal to a transpose f 2 a. Okay. So, d is diagonal. So, so get B such that B transpose D B equal to lambda 1 0 lambda 2. What I am done? So, look D is a self symmetric matrix, right? This is a symmetric matrix 2 cross 2. So, I can diagonalize it because symmetric matrix then I will have i n values real and I can get some matrix b. So, this is a spectral theorem I have used. So, I can get some 2 cross 2 matrix such that b transport d b is actually diagonal lambda 1 lambda 2 and lambda 1 lambda 2 are real for this matrix because it is a symmetric matrix. Then put c equal to a b. So, this is some trick calculation here. Then observe C transpose F 1 C, which is B transpose A transpose F 1 F B, which is equal to again B transpose identity 0 identity B, but then B transpose B is identity because that is the way we get for from the spectral theorem. And similarly, C transpose F 2 C, you, this will be when lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real. Now, determinant of F 2 minus k F 1 equal to 0. I have to see the root k 1, k 2 are roots. So I have to show they are real. This is if and only if determinant C transpose F 2 minus k F 1 C, this is 0. Okay. Why is so? Why C is inverse? Like, why is so? Because you look at A and B. A is invertible, B is invertible, and C is, C is A B. So, I just put some invertible matrix on left and right C transpose C. So, this determin the determinant will be determ is 0 if and only if this determinant is 0, but that is equal to if and only if determinant of now use C 2 F 2 C, this is this lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 and C transpose k comes out k C transpose F 1 C, C transpose F 1 C is identity this is 0 that is 
k 1 has to be lambda 1, k 2 has to be lambda 2, but lambda 1 and lambda 2 are already real because they are eigenvalues values of asymmetric matrix. So, this is the first part. Let us go to the second part. What was it? That if k equal to k 1 equal to k 2, then the principal vectors t 1 and t 2 are same right, um, t 1 and t 2 are uh, sorry they are, uh, f, then f 2 equal to k into f 1, uh, any tangent vector is principal. But then what happens if this is true? Again c 2 transpose c is identity, c transpose f 2 c is k i this is gives uh, c transpose f 2 minus k f 1 c this is equal to 0, but c trans c is invertible matrix. So, I can cancel c on both side and that is what we wanted right. Okay. third one k 1 not equal to k 2 and my t i what was that? Xi i sigma u plus eta i sigma v where xi i eta i are tangent vectors. So, t i's are the principal vectors. Then let us do it t 1 dot t 2 this will be x 1 transpose f 1 x 2 we have done it before with x and y. Note f 2 x 1 is k 1 f 1 x 1 and f 2 x 2 equal to k 2 f 1 x 2 by definition right they are the invectors. So, x 2 transpose f 2 x 1 this will be k x 2 transpose f 1 x 1 which is k 1 t 2 dot t 1 and x 1 transpose f 2 x 2 similarly we will see k 2 t 1 dot t 1 t 2 similar calculation, but then t 1 transpose f 2 t 2 this is equal to t 1 transpose f 2 t 2 transpose because it is a scalar. So, this is t 2 transpose f 2 t 1. So, that shows from this 2 that k 1 t 1 dot t 2 equal to k 2 t 2 dot t 1, but these two quantities are equal t 1 dot t 2 equal to t 2 dot t 1 dot product is commutative, but that will force us k 1 equal to k 2 this or t 1 is perpendicular to t 2 or t 1 dot t 2 equal to 0. If it is 0 you cannot, but I have we have started with k 1 not equal to k 2. So, I must have t 1 dot t 2 equal to 0. So, look at the proof just simple matrix manipulation nothing there. Okay. We are converging to geometry now with one more theorem that is the famous Euler theorem. Which connects, which connects normal curvature to principal curvature. So everything same. Gamma is a curve on the six, six on a surface patch, regular surface patch. K one, K two, non-zero. I have to assume non-zero principal. 
we will see what happens if they are 0. Curvatures with principal vectors T 1 and T 2. Then conclusion very nice normal curvature is k 1 cos square theta plus k 2 sin square theta, where theta is the angle between uh, gamma dot and T 1. This is nothing special about T 1. If you take T 2 angle between T 2 and T 1, then there it will be k 2 cos square. So, k 1 and k 2 will be interchanged. Okay. Remember the state, I will prove it, do not don't worry. Proof is again matrix manipulation and understanding the which vector dot product with which vector is 0. But remember this conclusion of Euler's theorem. This is very important for a cal calculation later on. Okay. And we as we I actually I should have uh, written here, but I have told in the beginning of the first lecture that we will always consider unit speed. So gamma is uh, we should have mentioned in the theorem there is unit speed. Maybe I add it here because it's a theorem. But anyways, in this next series of lecture, next whatever we car we consider, we will take unit speed for calculation of curvatures related quantities. So, let us try to see a proof of this one. Proof is very easy, as I said. So, let us take any tangent vector, right? Then T I can write as we know. Correct, and I take this vector guide. Suppose in the case one, there will be two cases that k one and k two are same. Then just verify k eta is x transpose f two x, which is equal to k x transpose f 2 x sorry f 1 x which is k t dot t ok I should have taken unit vector is equal to k and therefore, K, e, k normal curvature is equal to k, but k is anyway this. So, this relation is true because k 1 is equal to k 2. So, this case is very easy, right? Whatever theta you take does not matter. Non trivial case is case 2, where k 1 not equal to k 2. In this case, we know from previous proposition by proposition. T 1 is perpendicular to T 2. So, let us take T i equal to again xi i sigma u eta i sigma v x i equal to. So, same setup as in the proposition. Now, gamma dot I write it as cos theta T 1 plus sin theta T 2. What is that? T 1 and T 2 perpendicular vector gamma is a gamma dot is a vector in the plane gamma dot is in T p which is spanned by T 1 T 2 of course, with perpendicular vectors. So, now I write it as cos theta xi 1 sigma u eta 1 sigma v plus sin theta 
xi 2 sigma u eta 2 sigma v. No problem. Okay. So, let us write this as, so let us collect the term uh, xi sigma u plus eta sigma v. What will be xi? Xi will be cos theta xi 1 plus xi 2 sin theta, right? And eta is uh, eta 1 cos theta plus eta 2 sin theta. Right. So, now I calculate k normal curvature. Normal curvature is, do you remember why do I define the normal curvature? That is given by, what how does it give this second fundamental form? This was a formula, right. This is cos theta t1 sin theta t2, and I know k normal curvature from the that formula is t transpose second fundamental form t. That was the formula. Recall that which page it was t transpose f2 which is now I write cos theta t 1 transpose sin theta t 2 trans transpose f 2 cos theta t 1 plus sin theta t 2, which now you just break it up cos square theta T 1 transpose F 2 T 1 cos theta sin theta T 1 transpose F 2 T 2 plus T 2 transpose F 2 T 1 plus sin square theta T 2 transpose F 2 T 1. Now, what is this? We call T i transpose F 2 T j is K i T 1 transpose, uh, T i transpose F 1 T j, because K i is the roots of F 2 minus K into F i. So, this is equal to K i if i equal to j 0 otherwise, correct? We have done it before. So, that means implies k eta is equal to k 1 cos square theta plus k 2 sin square theta. So, that was proof of Euler's theorem. Next day, we will have all the calculation, all the quantities ready. We will talk about the geometry, what geometry it implies, what happens to the geometry of the surface. Thank you.